Hi Leo and welcome to your December 2015 love forecast with me. This is Heart Divine. And first of all, I'd just like to apologize to everyone for the delays and the and the readings. And for December 4, I think five or six of the signs left out. And the reason for this is that I have been sick again. And I know this may seem to be a very, very stupid reason to a lot of my readers, but, you know, doing the free readings is really taking a toll on me. And, you know, I exert much effort on the videos and in the readings, so I do apologize for the delays on it as well. I actually just felt better recently, and I was also flooded in a lot of client readings. And this is also one of the reasons why I wasn't really able to do um, readings recently because um, I was really, really busy in working to the paid sessions for my clients. And again, I do apologize for that, but um, for those who have understand and have contacted me via my email and via my website just to check in with me i'm very very thankful and i you know i really really appreciate everyone's concerns on me and i also want to thank mariam i'm not really sure if i have pronounced that right but um she donated um, money on my website to it's really more of a donation for charity charitable cause for an exchange of energy for the videos and since she is a leo i'm not really sure if it's a he or a she i'm sorry about that if i have um misunderstand that or misinterpreted that your name um i just want to say that this is the, also one of the reasons why i'm I am um, working on the Leo reading on this video because um, she has, well, she didn't really request it to have a reading, but she has always been tuning into my channel and, you know, it's just a, a donation of some sort. So I'm very, very thankful of that and I do appreciate um, exchange of energies. It doesn't really have to be a very, very high price of de donation. Just a little bit is also is already okay to be honest. And again, thank you on this. Um, and for all those Leos out there, I'm sure that you have been waiting for this reading. And I hope that this reading will be able to give some insights on you. And I hope that I'm not too late yet in giving you the message for December. And I'm sorry for a lot of my. Um, hiccups on this video so anyway for december um i kind of feel that this is a make or break period for a lot of leos out there because i kind of feel that whatever whatever is um confusing you making you feel undecided as a whole you will find some answers for this month and it seems that it's either you are going to be making a decision or conclusion about it. And it could be in your relationship, it could be in your partner, or it could be your status, you know, if you're single or in a relationship as a whole. So it really, really depends. Now, what I'm just what I just wanted to say at first hand is that you really, really need to make sure that this is the decision that you are making because i kind of feel that this is a make or break period so you know one thing can actually lead to another path and you know make sure that you're not being impulsive in making the decisions and make sure that you're not being very very harsh towards someone as well because this is a time of chances but either way no matter how this may turn out, I kind of feel that by the end of December, you will find yourself having some clarity issues. There's something that you will find out, something kind of a truth. Whether this will be making you happy or will disappoint you, the truth shall be revealed to you. And this is really the biggest message um, for Leos out there. 
so um another thing for leos is that i kind of feel that you are you are at the point of your life or in if you have been avoiding something in your relationship or holding back something in your relationship this is a time we're in you are going to be facing your fears if there's something that you needed to tell someone you are going to tell this to this person you just need to be very sure or you need to keep in mind that you know telling what you feel telling what you want to tell towards someone and being um being defensive or you know you know that kind of a feeling wherein you wanted to be honest with someone but all at the same time your words are becoming very harsh you need to make sure that the way you are speaking is in a very calm manner and not in a way as if you're attacking someone okay so you know you will be able to resolve things in that sense rather than you know in screaming and argumentative it doesn't have to be that way and i do not see this in a very argumentative manner as well so all you really need to do is really say the truth be more honest and you know say what you truly feel so with leo i'm also feeling as if a lot of leos they have been in difficult relationship it could be that they some leos have been putting a lot of effort in the relationship or some leos are just you know being very overwhelmed by emotions they wanted to be happy they wanted emotional fulfillment they wanted happiness they wanted to feel love but i just kind of feel as if some leos you need to really think to what direction you are looking at in the relationship now to give you more clarity um for example for example i will be a leo and i am having some sort of an issue with a relationship and I wanted to fix the relationship. I wanted for things to be better between us. But for some reason, I did not really put much effort in this relationship to even, you know, to even make amends on it. I just waited all of, all along. And this is telling you that you may need to put necessary effort in this relationship because it won't you know, things will, won't just got, get fixed just because you wanted it to get fixed. You know, nothing is ever so immediate right here. And if you're the type of Leo who has been trying to work so much in the relationship, this is telling you that you are now very tired and very exhausted as a result. And there is a need for you to really take care of yourself and really, you know, find out to your own self if you really really wanted this person this relationship or if you still want to continue on being with this person as a whole and um if this is something that will still make you happy because i kind of feel that some leos they might need to have some kind of a space they need to i kind of feel that they deserve a break you know I kind of feel that if you are being very tired, doing the same things over and over again, it's time for you to stop. It's time for you to do something else. And if you are doing the same thing, same tactic, same strategy over and over again, and it's not giving you the results that you want, this is like a big message for you that what you're doing is wrong. And you need to change this. You know, this tactic or this action will not provide you the results that you want. And this is the time for you to change things, change the cycle, change the pattern that has been going on and on. So um, what is showing here is that in the near future, will, you will 
um, make conclusions, make decisions in uh, certain situations. And it could be that they're giving a chance towards someone as well. So it really depends on what type of Leo are you and what type of relationship you are dealing with. But it shows here that the Leos that I'm picking up, they are more of the Leos that are as if they are holding on too much in a certain person, certain relationship, more than they should. And this is a time where in, you know, instead of keeping everything in towards themselves, this is a time where in they need to really be more honest with their thoughts, with what they truly feel, what they, what do they truly need and what do they truly want. And um what you need to know is that this is a time for you to embrace your feminine side. Um, embrace your emotions rather than the logical mind, rather than, you know, the actions as a whole. This is really more of you finding yourself. If this is true love, if, if, if this is what you truly feel, you know. And again, this is... It's very, very important that you make sure that this other person, whether this person is there in your life and not in your life, you will be happy because this other person is not going to complete you. This relationship is not going to complete you. So you need to be at that point where in you know that you love the person, but it's not the person that will make that will solve problems in your life and your in in your relationship as a whole. So I kind of feel here that there are chances for you to reconnect with someone in the past, or it could be that if you are someone who are hesitant to attend gatherings, I kind of feel that maybe you should go out there. You might meet someone from your past you might see someone in the past and you might reconnect with them and you might give chances to towards them you know so this is not the time to soak around and stay at home lock yourself up this is actually the time of opportunities and chances and you might just meet someone very special and on the holidays as well so um so yeah I really, really feel that this is a good month overall for a lot of Leos out there. You just need to change your your mind frame, how you think. And, you know, there's really more of an evaluation and what you're doing right now. And how is this helping you as a whole in the long run? So I hope that this reading has been helpful for you, Leos. And... Um, Hopefully, this may have resonated to some of you guys. I hope that um, you won't be very impulsive in making decisions and in concluding something. It's very, very important that you are to communicate towards that person instead of just assuming things and thinking, thinking ahead of the situation that sort of thing there is a need for you to connect to someone there is a need for you to communicate so you need to make sure that you're not alone and you do not have to shoulder all the burdens alone you have your friends and you know this is really more of, of a message that this is a time for you to not be alone. This is a time for you to either be with your family, with be with your friends, or at least be with your loved one. Talk to them and, you know, get your answers that you have been seeking all this time. So I hope that this reading has been helpful for you, Leos, and hopefully we'll see each other again on January. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, please do know that you can contact me on the description box below this video. Please do know that I won't be available for readings on the 24th till the January 2 of 2016. And I'll see you next time, Leos. Thank you.